the beautiful scenery, the smell of the waterfall, the tranquility of nature, smells like adventure. What's up everyone? This is El Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey! Last time, we did a bit more backtracking, and we got quite a bit done here in Cascade Kingdom, all things considered. We've got all of the purple coins, and we got a few extra moons as well. In this episode, our backtracking is still not yet done, but we are done here in the Cascade Kingdom. So our total moon count is now at 57. Now, let's uh, get the hell out of here and move on to something else. Well, I do want to head back to the Cap Kingdom just to see what all is there. There are apparently 17 moons and 50 coins. That doesn't seem to be too big of a deal to try to get at least most of the things here. So let's go. Alright, so what are you going to show us this time, Cabby? The spin throw. Okay, I already know that. Thanks, Cappy. And thus we have returned to the Cap Kingdom, and I can already see a moon. Okay, well, Toad's already there to begin with. Um, I want to just look around the side just in case like there's any coins hidden down there. People are worried about Bowser and Tiara. Ooh, wait. Oh, okay, I know how to do that. I need the frog. Oh, hello. Well, that was quick. It's like, nice try. I need you. Now, ooh, that fog's gonna be a little bit tricky. Let's go! Okay, so what is up here? Are any of these of any worth, or can I get a... I can! Hmm. Crap! Yeah! Come on, Mario! This wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere if there wasn't something up here. Hey! Ah! Okay, well, my intuition was right, but I'm failing horribly. Because trying to do tiny movements with web feet is not exactly the easiest thing to do. Now I just need to hop straight up. And there we go. You got a moon! Alright, so that's the first one. Thank goodness. Oh crap, I'm gonna die! That was a mistake because I jumped without seeing where the hell I was gonna land. First rule of platformers, make sure you always know where you're going to land. Okay, well there's some more coins over here. Uh, there's something out over that way. More death. Lovely. Um, anything in the fog here? No? Well, you have something to say. I heard there's some new stranger up on the top of the tower now. When will it end? Oh, none of these people can catch a break? Huh. There's also some little sticker down there. 
There's something down over that way. And of course, the parrot, of course. <laughs> of course, there's the parrot, of course. Redundancy. Where's the secret you're seeking? I know, I know, right? Ha <laughs> ha! I can't tell, but I'll give you a clue. Hidden among the push blocks. It's hiding somewhere. No picking. Go find it, go find it. Scrawl! There's some Goombas over that way. I wonder if I could actually get over there through flying on a Paragoomba. I mean, maybe. Hmm. All right, well, there's stuff down here. Anything worth? Yes! Perfect! I mean, I might actually be able to get everything here in Botting... Bottenton? What exactly is this? Uh, do 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 do. Bonneton. Oh, I guess while we're here, we can take a look at the brochure. Gab Kingdom, home of tradition, propri propriety, and hats. And of haberdashed dreams. Middling population, pretty small size. There's the bonneters. Currency is hat shaped. Hats and airships for some reason. All right, let's take a look at what is available here. The world's best hat stand. This eye-catching tower is famous in Botten... Botten... Bottenitin. Bonnetin. Bonnetin. Bonnetin, Bonnetin, Bonnetin. Gotta say it a lot so that way it gets stuck in my head. Both as a landmark itself and for the spectacular view from the brim. Visitors are allowed inside, but many creatures call the tower home. Much of the surprise of first-timers. Extremely mobile homes that can freaking fly. In town, you will immediately notice the unique dwellings shapes like hats. Shaped like hats. These constructions double as both house and airship to the bonneters. Who take great, great pride in them. I cannot speak today. What is wrong with me? Some of the larger houseboats even have two stories. As private dwellings, you can't just stroll inside. The names don't mind people climbing on top of their homes. Perhaps being a top private property comes naturally to these hat-like people. Let's see. Posts. These posts are used as parishions or stoppers. If they get in the way, you can pound them down, but pulling them out is recommended. Alright. Other side. The spectacle of a bridge. The bridge that connects the central square and the hills is called Glasses Bridge. It's a- oh, I get it. It's a long double arch structure whose bottom is hidden in a sea of clouds. When you see it, you'll understand its affectionate nickname immediately. Many tourists enjoy the speedy thrill of rolling across its undulating structure. Be sure to give it a try. Old-fashioned lighting. These unique lights only appear in Bonneton. Since the area gets so dark every time the moon goes behind the clouds, the lights are designed to be switched on with a simple turn of the lantern. The elegant design of these lampposts draws many tourists. They're even lovelier when turned on, so do give each one a spin as you pass by. The Sometimes Bridge. The bridge that connects Central Square to Top Hat Tower is built to entract in an emergency. If this happens during your visit, don't panic! Just use a switch to restore the bridge. Keys to the Kingdom. Appreciate the distinctive architectural style based on hat silhouettes. Enjoy the romantic glow of the moonlit fog shrouded streets. That will kill you. Chat with the kind and ever courteous bonitors. Alright. Is there anything in here? I mean, well, invisible money. Um... I'm gonna have to jump down at that, and there's the shop! Okay. Ah, oh, welcome! When it comes to coins or two, I already know. This isn't my first time here. So, health extension, the moon, and nothing else here. Well, let's of course buy the moon here. You got a moo! What the hell is going on there? Oh, it was just the fog. That sort of creeped me out a little bit. Alright, so let's see. So, black top hat, black tuxedo, the sticker, the plush frog, and the bonneton tower. Okay, very interesting. Very stylish, too. If I can get, well, I was about to say, if I can get two more coins, I can get the outfits. And there are three right here. Let's go get those outfits, then. So, the top hat. Uh, let's maybe change into this outfit. And the tuxedo. Go ahead and change into that. And there we go. Snazzy. 
All right, so let's see what else is around. Uh, hmm, there is that Paragoomba. I don't want to, like, necessarily kill the Paragoomba. But he also sort of in the way. Oh, hey! All right, three more of those coins. Anything down here? Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure these were where those Bowser posters were before on our first visit. Uh, uh, there's not exactly a good way to get down there aside from, aside from just, actually, I kind of wonder if maybe if I light up all of these things, will a moon appear? Brother, I suppose I must get to work or, oh, bother. I thought that, I honestly thought he said brother. Brother! Oh, well, whatever. Uh, the only way I can really see is falling down here. Well, whatever. Uh, Mario? Oh, well, there's a way to get out. Uh, so much for all of those coins. Oh, it's just Cat Mario over there. Um, let's see if I can do that. And then go down here. Here, and then take control over the Paragoomba. There we go. Ah! I actually have to make sure I keep flying. Okay. Well, there's another one of those blocks. I was told that these are basically post-game stuff. So I'm much better off just not dealing with them for the time being. Uh, more coins. I did see some purple coins out there in the distance. There we go. Uh, is there anything of else here? Oh, there's some more coins. Need to grab all these purple coins while I can. Oh! Ooh! Money, money, money! Hell yeah! There's also a Cappy door. All right, well let's grab the purple coins that are over here first. Getting a good amount of these already. Um, yeah, we may as well go in there. There's still plenty of moons that are that we need to get. We've gotten a lot of coins, but not a lot of moons. Oh, oh my! Oh, moon pieces. All right. I'm gonna need these frogs as well. Hmm. There's another moon shard. Go ahead and grab that. And back to where we were. Okay, moon shard number three, moon shard number four. Um, can I make it? Yeah! Where's this last one? Um. Ooh, tricky. Crap. I might be able to get on that, especially if I get on this. Uh-oh. Damn it. Do I need to be on that? Yeah. Really doesn't help that I need forward mom Oh! I guess I didn't. All right. Neat, but that's a lot. What else is in here? I feel like there's more than just these moon shards. Oh, well, whatever. We get our prize and you got a moon! All right, now let's actually maybe see what else is around. Maybe some purple coins, maybe another moon. Oh, there are some coins. Okay. I think I checked. Okay, so we just go over here. Go over this way and not quite make that jump. Oh, well, whatever. It's still simple enough. One, two, three, and four. All right, is there anything else here? Yes. Ah, 
Damn it. Okay. Uh, mm. Well, I couldn't get, get to that from there, but a much simpler solution would be to get on these. And then I can grab the moon that way. Um, what would be the best course of action? Uh, shortcut! Oh, jeez. Alright, that shortcut's not gonna work. Thankfully, it doesn't take any time to get over here. Alright, I'm gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way, then. Uh, I'm still gonna need the frog, though, so I can't exactly bail on it. Um, wait, could I just... I probably could have just gone over here normally. Damn it! Oh, well. Whatever. I still get some money, which is still nice. I do need regular coins. I mean, after all, if each... M can't wait. What? Oh, I have to be on top of that, don't I? Each kingdom seems to have their own moon that requires a hundred coins. Like, normal coins. So it's... I at least need that. And plus, there's bound to be more things that are available with normal coins. You got a moon! Alright, that's four out of seventeen. Not bad so far. Let's get the heck out of here. Back to where we were. Okay, so... More money that I did not pick up. Okay, so we're still doing pretty alright. Seems like we do need to head back to the tower, though, because something is afoot up there. Ah! Okay, let's just light up all of these. I get the sneaking suspicion that that is going to be required for something. Yeah. All right, well, that's at least more money. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of just wondering if there are, like, any spare lights that I haven't hit. Because the last thing I need is to, like, be completely right in that assumption, but then miss something. I don't see any lights over that way. All right, then. Onwards we go. The only thing really that we haven't really gone to would be the tower. I'm sure we've explored everything else that's over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we even went under this bridge, so... Eat it! Rolly, 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 rolly. Uh-oh, time challenge. Great! Alright, well, light these up. Any other lights? No? Alright, well, let's see what this time challenge is. Oh, there's a moon up there. Come on. Oh! Sweet, that worked! You got a moon! Alright, well, that worked out pretty nicely. Um, I was kind of reminded that about how exactly to roll that quickly. And yeah, it's just shaking the controller. Which, it is sort of- wait a minute. Oh, that- that seems suspicious. Which, I mean... Ah! Didn't realize that one went off. I mean, I did realize that I could roll, but I think I more so did that by accident more than anything. So, yeah. General... There has been kind of uh, people... You know, wondering a bit, like, what exactly is, like, acceptable to post, what exactly spoilers, and typically, r normal rule of thumb. If it's something that I haven't encountered or haven't had a problem with, generally speaking, don't speak of it. Kind of, that's the general rule of thumb. Uh, any sort of normal gameplay things, that's fine, just, like... Like, if it's anything that would be normally found in, like, the action guide, like, basic movements, that's always fine because I'm bound to forget the, those types of things 
as we progress through the game. So, yeah, anything from that, that's always fine. Uh, but, yeah, rule of thumb. If it's something that I haven't encountered yet, or, like, a challenge that I haven't attempted yet, that's another thing. Like, if it's a moon that... Hmm. Just what's the best way to put this? If, if it's something that I haven't encountered yet, don't bother saying anything about it, even if it's cryptic. Still, let me try to figure these things out, and if I really need any help, the game does provide a lot of, well, support for that. There's a lot of different ways to gather hints. Whether it's just through, like, the bird, or through amiibos, or anything like that. It's just, if I'm stuck with that, or if it's like a normal challenge, and I'm having trouble with it, and I just leave and come back to it later, then, yeah. Then it would be more appropriate to give a bit of a hint. Not necessarily the solution, but a hint. But if I haven't encountered anything, if it's something that, you know, again, a challenge that I haven't, ah, damn, a challenge that I have not yet, well, attempted, ah, damn it, then yeah, try not to post anything about that, I want to be a bit more, I want to keep many of these to be surprises. Okay, now maybe I need the Paragoomba for this one. The frog's not enough. Freaking... No, Paragoombas stay relatively close to the level here. Weird. Alright, I can't go in through that way. Well, if that's the case, how do I get to that moon? Hmm. I mean, I figured it would have to be a frog. Because I'm not going to be able to get that height elsewhere. <laughs> uh, whatever. Let's maybe try this one more time and see if I can't try to get this moon. Got it! Yes! You got a moon! Ah, that one took a lot of tries. See, something like that, because I figured, like, I, I mean, I did that by accident, was that dive that I had not done before. But, I mean, yeah, if I'd simply given up on that, then, I mean, saying something to that effect that you need to dive for it or something. Maybe not necessarily explicit like that, but, you know, to that degree. Something that I attempt but fail to get. That would be fine to, you know, give a bit more of a hint on that. Kind of just a general idea. Again, people just use your best judgment on these sorts of things. That's all I ask. Okay, so now that we're back here... Let's maybe grab another frog and see if there's anything up there at the top of the tower now. Okay. I imagine, yeah, I figured there would at least be coins, if not a moon up there. What if we, oh. Ah. Trying to count the moons that I have while trying to platform with frogs. I have six moons. Six out of 17, okay. No doubt that I'm missing some. But I am only missing 11 coins. Huh. Damn it. What the? Why did it immediately go? Oh, because 
I was wondering why the frog went away. It's because it went into water. Which is weird that that's what causes the frog to dissipate, but okay. Let's keep going then. There's some more coins over here, so that's good. I haven't missed... At least I don't think I've missed any. I hope I haven't. Only missing six, though. Hmm. Gotta look out for secrets. You never know what's just hiding off the edge of a cliff. Out of view. Well, out of normal view. More mini Goombas. Uh, ooh, actually, let me make sure the frog is still here. Health extension. Uh, anything else? Anything else before I go? Are there really no moons up here? That seems odd that there would be no moons here. Oh well. Now, let's see. Well, there's still more lights. So who knows? Oh, actually, I wonder if I wonder if these lights actually stay on or oh. Sweet! I certainly hope the lights don't just simply Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm back in sunshine. <laughs> Certainly hope the lights don't re... re... Respawn, like, they turn off again. Whenever I leave a map. Okay. Huh. Oh no! Oh jeez. Oh man, that scared me. That really scared me right there. Alright, well, ooh. Hmm. Wait! I... I noticed these! Crap. There we go. Wait a minute. Oh, that's just where I was before. All right. Okay. I think I'm only missing three of those now. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wait a minute. Ah, nope. Just my imagination. All right. Get on here. Ah! Oh, no! Damn it. All right, now that we're back where we were, let's maybe try to do that again with less failure. Okay, let's maybe... Nope. Nice. Pushing it off like that is kind of, well, a little mean, but whatever. You got a moon. Push block peril. Yeah, that's a pretty apt name. Okay. I'm very close to getting all of the coins, though. If I could at least get that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, these. No, actually. Very interesting. I think the lights the lights do stay on. Okay. Well then. That is good to know. So now it's just a matter of maybe trying to find where all these lights are. And maybe then that could potentially lead to another move. I mean, it's a thought, at least. I wouldn't put it past the game to do something like that. Alright, and... Toad? Captain Toad, what are you doing here? 
I climbed all the way up here because I want to see that big moon up close. I'm still not very close, but I found a power moon along the way, so here. Oh, thank you. You got a moon. Okay, but that still leaves a lot of moons to be found. So... Yikes. I'm still missing, like, ten moons. Where the heck would all of them be? Nailed it. Okay, seriously, where would all of these moons be that I'm missing? I mean, I can't fathom just missing this many. Oh, more money. Got it. Hmm. Well, I mean, we are running pretty low on time. Oh, I'm also missing three coins. Three of the purple coins. We can't have that. Where am I missing three, though? Hmm. Perhaps somewhere out here? Oh! I did not realize I could actually jump on these. Perhaps there are some that are hiding. Well, you can find out. There might be a power moon in one of these for all. Okay. No idea what, why Cat Mario was like that. Hmm. Still, where the heck are these last three coins? I'd like to get those before calling it a day. Already been in there. Already got those. Not like that up though. Hmm. I am not sure. No, I've already got those. Seems to be another interloper. I mean, I was kind of wondering, like, is there like another boss or whatever? But no, it's just Captain Toad. Seriously though, where could this last, these last couple coins be? Hmm, maybe back at the beginning? Maybe. Hmm. It could just be like behind one of these. Like something behind here at the beginning that I didn't quite catch. Huh. Could I even take a Paragoomba this far? Imagine why I wouldn't or couldn't. Hmm. The problem is I don't see anything over here. I like that there, there are any purple coins hiding down here either. Weird. They sh I would assume that they're only in like a single section. So where the heck are they? I'll explore around a little bit. I won't spend too much time trying to find them, but I wouldn't like to try to finish this bit off. I noticed this as I was just floating around using a Paragoomba. I wasn't sure if, like, I noticed that there was just this Paragoomba flying way over here. Apparently there's a Cappy door. Perhaps the last three coins are here. Well, I can at least hope. All right, that's, that's the way out. Oh. 
Okay, that is lovely. Also, nothing behind me. Ugh. Gotta be careful. Because these are death! Go! Oh, okay, got that. And got that! Awesome! That's another secret! You got a moon! But... That didn't lead to any coins. What the heck? Okay, so I got an extra moon, but the other three coins are still nowhere to be found. Okay, and this Goomba must just be here to get me back. Weird. Oh well. I mean, I explored around and I found a moon. Which wasn't quite what I was looking for, but hey. Whatever. I do suppose that we will call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey! Damn it. We... I think we're probably done for the time being in terms of backtracking. I am a little disappointed that I couldn't really find these things, but we'll be back here anyway, so there'll be more chances to explore this place in order to try to find these last couple of coins. I want to say that it's inside the tower somewhere. But, oh well, we have other things to do. So, let's go ahead and maybe do some last minute purchases. Go ahead and get the sticker for the Odyssey. We will get the Bonneton Tower. And that frog will be the last thing that we get. So until next time, everyone. Take care.